good timing, Deputy. We need to talk. I give thanks to the Lord every day for bringing you and I together. I'm glad you're looking to do more here. We need you. As you can see, John Seed's making a lot of people suffer right now, and quite frankly, I can't keep up. These people need me. They're my responsibility now. But that just means keeping tabs on the resistance has been that much harder. When you get a chance, head out east and check on our people at the Woods and Pig Farm. I haven't heard back from them in a couple of days, and that worries me. We can't afford to lose a single one of our fighters. We all owe you a debt of gratitude. You, you gotta attack quietly. It's their best chance of survival. Father. Take them to John. He's ready to hear their confession.
My parents were the first ones to teach me about the power of yes. One night, they took me into the kitchen and they threw me on the ground and I experienced pain after pain after pain after pain. After pain. <laughs> and when I didn't think I could take any more, I did. Something broke free inside. I wasn't scared. I was clear. I looked up at them. I started to laugh. All I could say was, yes. I spent my entire life looking for more things to say yes to. I opened every hole in my body, and when those were filled, I created more. But it was Joseph who showed me just how selfish I was being. Always receiving, always taking. The best gift isn't the one you get, it's the one you give. Giving takes courage. Courage to own your sin to etch it onto your flesh and carry its burden. And when you have endured, when you have truly begun to atone, to cut it out like a cancer and display it for all to see. <sighs> My God, that's courage. <laughs> I'm going to teach you courage. Teach you how to say yes. So you can confront your weaknesses, confront your sins. You will swim across an ocean of pain and emerge free. For only then can you truly be into the tunnel. So who wants to go first? Hmm? Yes. Yes. You're not gonna regret this. I promise. Now, before we begin, I think it's only proper that Deputy Hudson goes back to her room. Confessions are meant to be private, after all. Shh, 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 shh. I am not here to take your life. I'm here to give it to you. I'm going to open you and pour your worst fears inside. And as you soak, your sins will reveal themselves. Only then will you truly understand the power of yes. I'll be right back.
want to thank John for purging me of my sins.
that you may see how futile your efforts are. The doors are closing, deputy. Last chance to leave. Fucking operation to the ground. So get to work. <laughs> <laughs> 